Hi everybody and welcome back to a, another video of Ages Does Bill I. We are on episode 20 now. Uh, like I said in the previous video, I moved everything from our original home base to our new home base, home base 2. And I've came all the way here to the Elder. And we are going to face him off in this video. I've brought the seed with me and we are going to beat this guy okay that is our goal for the day and once we are done this we're pretty much done with this island and then we'll be officially moving to home base 2 so without further ado let's get into it So to summon this guy, you need ancient seeds. I can't remember how many you needed, so I brought five with me. Okay, and you needed three. This is very much a ranged fight. It's quite a scary guy. He is weak to fire, as you can see. The only thing about him is you don't want to stand still. He can shoot you. And he crosses these little vines everywhere, which are a massive pain. But if you hide behind these pillars, you're pretty much safe. Just don't let these vines hit you. They hurt. You can also do quite a bit of uh, chopping damage to him. He's quite weak to chopping damage, but he does a lot of damage if he manages to hit you, which I'm trying to avoid. I did bring myself some extra bows, quite a lot of arrows, so I always recommend doing that. But if you keep your range, look how easy he is. Okay, just bring out vines again. No one's attacking there, but good on you, buddy. As long as you stay behind these pillars, he is like so easy. Oops, managed to hit me there. Okay, he's coming to me, so I'm going to swap sides. Oh, my side just got overrun. Oh, and don't get caught like that. Oh, ha, ha. So yeah. But he's, he's not a particularly hard boss. You must just stay behind the pillars. Not run out of stamina. For me, I seem to be running out of stamina a lot in this, this playthrough. But I will be honest, I normally have a friend I play with who specializes in making sure Ages is fed. Also, what's nice about hiding behind the pillar gives you time to recharge your stamp. Oh. Yeah, I didn't bring stamp food. I brought uh, a lot of HP food with me this time around. So let's just recharge our stamina to. I wouldn't say max, but decent level. And it's gonna be fines. Because also the reason you use fire arrows is they create a bit of a burn effect. 
It's on my case right now. I just can't outrun him. If I can put a bit of distance between me and him. Like now. As long as you got the distance, he will just keep you staying range. But if you go close like I am now, then he just keeps like chasing after you. I even watched this one guy, he, he dug a, a safe spot underneath. Oh, so yeah. That's how I messed up. I'm still messing up. Because I, I got myself stuck in between the vines. So close. So all you got to do in this fight really is just keep moving. Like I, if I had the health, which I don't have right now, to finish him off, I would just charge his feet. Keeping me well away from him. That is nearly dead. He went that way. Oh, now I'm hitting the... See, this is why I brought myself a second secondary bow. Oh, he got me. He got me good. But yeah, so I brought myself a secondary bow just in case. So yeah, as you can see, I'm right here. Now it's just a matter of grabbing my staff and not being hit by him because I've got no defense right now. Uh, need to lure him away from my body. Come on, come for me. Of course you'll cross your vines. Okay, got my staff. I just need a moment. Cool. I got a new thing here. Pine cone. Yeah, that's what I think of you, buddy. You know what? 
me. Come on, follow me, follow me, yeah. I'm in a little bit of trouble because I don't have stamina there. But one more little fight like that, and he's dead. One more hit, one more hit. Oh, the elder has been vanquished. <coughs> nicely done, nicely done. Now we've got our swamp key. Okay, we're not going to fight him again. But now we're going to make our way all the way to there. I left a boat for myself over there, and then we go home. Now, if I had not imposed the rule of no portals, which I was regretting when moving bases around, uh, if I had not imposed the rule of no portals, I could just stuck, jump in a portal and go home. But we are doing a no portal run, so therefore we're not allowed to use portals. Them's the rules. Oh, great. Made a blue friend. Obviously I do not want to lose my key or the head I've got in my pocket. I must remember that there's a barrel man in front of me somewhere. So we've got to be just a little bit on the careful side. But that was quite a fun fight, I guess. Fairly easy. I only died once. Quite proud of myself. It's dark, I cannot see. Yeah, no, but just a reminder. The reason why I say no portal is I'm busy making this a immersive playthrough. And there's no portals. There's no uh Yeah, there's pretty much no portals, no mods, no nothing. And I have it set as hard as possible against me. But this has all been done on purpose. And I'm recording everything I do, except for the odd, like moving the base and that type of thing, because I didn't want to torture you guys. Because we, we all remember the, the lovely video of me having to trek through Uh, with my little wooden cart carrying that, that three or four sticks of ore and I couldn't even run up a damn hill not even a hill I couldn't even like run up a bump
so yeah stacks that sit against me from darkness to I uh, couldn't have a torch on me but torch wasn't in the, the cards of that fight I oh, think about should actually use the torch. Would have been damn funny to kill him with the torch, right? Since it causes burn damage. But yeah, this is a no portal, no, no mods. Play straight game as intended. Does mean a lot of running back and forth. And I'm recording everything I do, so you are playing with me. And I'm now repeating myself, like a moron. But, in episode 20, we're down to the second boss. Which feels good. Yeah, I just want to check I didn't leave the trophy behind because then, then I'll feel stupid. Now at our standing stones, finally. Foster wood cutting. The one I'm fearing the most is this one. The Swamp Boss. Because basically when you fight him, he spawns a lot of poison and blubs or blobs. That truly give you a hard time. Okay, now we must make our way to the other base. <coughs> like I said, I did leave a boat over there, which we just gotta make our way to. I'm just hoping that it's still there, because with the rain, rain the the game would have increased the water level. overcrafted my arrow requirement. See here, we've got a little bridge here somewhere. Nope, wrong spot. Oh, 
I'll be honest, I'm going to miss this base. Uh, I don't know how many hours we've been here. But I'm guessing it's about eight hours, more or less. See, here's our little bridge. Vroom, vroom. Now we have a tidal bridge over here. That's a brute. Pushing me back. I just want him out the way because I want to kill him because he hits hard. I don't want him on the spot. I run away from him, even by accident. Yeah, it says I can't sleep at this time, probably because my fire is out. Looks like my fire got destroyed. Why can't I use my little outpost here? Oh, that's annoying. Oh, I'm not going that way. I'm going to munch down some more food. Throw that down, throw that down. Well, at least it's daytime. I'll be able to see again. This horseless rain would stop so that I can get faster stam. Kitty, why aren't you playing with me? You should be feeding the ages. Biggest weirdo speak about themselves in the third person, yeah. I didn't just do that. Yeah, I've got my ship waiting for me over here, hoping that it's still here. If not, we pretty much messed up. Yep, there it is, I can see my sails.
So now we pretty much just need to sail across. Then we need to sail to about there, I want to say, there. And then we run from there along the coast. And we're fairly safe. So what we're going to do is just aim for that ping marker. Goodbye, first island. You were fun. Oh, I'm off course. Something hit my ship. Yeah, the further down the coast I go, the easier it will be for me just to trek through. Yeah, so I've just got to go through there. That's all meadow. It gets a little bit hairy over there in the dark forest, but home is quite close to that spot. And I'm just going to abandon the boat here as well. Because I will need it for next time. But uh, the chances of me actually finding it for next time are slim. But that's okay. I'm not planning on leaving this island anytime soon. Weapon away. It's daytime. And it's not raining. There's actually a nice little village in here. On this path. It's here and I think it's either there or there. If it was closer to the the what you call it, the plains biome which I want to incorporate into my base, then it would have been a cool little spot, and it's nice and flat, and it's like I said, it's a nice big village. See, there it is. It even came with its own little castle over there. Take some bore me time with us. Yeah, like a little watchtower. Castle over there. Little garden. Raspberry thingies. I didn't even explore it. I just w kept running through it. I was carrying so much stuff. This is the Raspberry Garden again. Okay, so now we're going to run through here. This is where it gets a little bit dangerous. Because we borderline with the Black Forest. And we don't have stamp food, we just got combat food. Or maximum HP.
So here was the other little village I was thinking of, but it's just too far away from where I want it to be. And there's Draga that spawn in here as well. So I guess what I'm going to be doing... Sausage farming. I kind of forgot about the Draga. Go back to your spawn, buddy. Draga are like swamp people. Probably gonna need to kill this guy. Oh, there's a few of them. Not quite what I had in mind. Hopefully the skeletons here will pick them up. Just enough time for me to escape. I messed up properly by running through the village and not going around the village. Yeah, well, the drug has stopped to fight the skeletons. I must just remember now that there'll be drug somewhere in this forest. <laughs> And here's the merchant. I haven't visited him yet, but I've run past him. I don't know if this is Helga or if it's the normal guy. Hagen. Hagen. See, I need to buy that, but I need 950 gold. And here's one that helps me see in the dark for dungeon exploring. Nice guy, this. They also brought out a female one. And the female one, I actually don't know. I think she just gives clothes. I saw in the patch notes about her, but I haven't actually found her yet. See, we've got all these nice fresh crypts to explore. I shouldn't actually call them crypts, they're burial mounds. The crypts hold than my next upgrade and that's what I needed the key for okay well, since we killed them they're not going to chase us right now I can't do it because I'm slot capped in my inventory but let's mark this one see I haven't even marked them yet Uh, no, not the house. His name is Barry. Yeah. Okay, we're almost at our base. Yeah, it's a bit of a long run, but now that we are officially moved in here, we don't need to run that path again. I 
and like I said, if I was doing allowed myself to use portals, right? I would have placed a portal here, portal at the standing stones. And then you could easily just travel back and forth, back and forth. But I have imposed the rule no portals for immersion. Oh, I must tell you guys, while I was moving everything, I actually had an invasion attack me at this base. It was only a bunch of graylings, grey dwarfs. So, nothing to be scared of, but it was definitely annoying. Hello, I'm home. But now that we've got the next upgrade, it makes things a little bit more challenging. They will start actually spawning uh, trolls because now we've got the elder upgrade in place. So yeah, I now need to clean out my inventory, sort out all my equipment and stuff. But I want to say thank you for watching. been a great adventure as you can see I've unlocked quite a bit of things here oh what's that a hat but yeah welcome to our new home it needs massive massive sorting out and refurbishing but this is it okay guys thank you for watching we will be doing more updates in the very near future but for today it's done and dusted thank you for watching if you're liking our series so far please hit that subscribe button in any videos that you've enjoyed, please hit that like button too. It really helps us out. And yeah, comments are all welcome. I try to answer everybody. Thank you for watching.